Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We're back for another Walking Dead video. We've got an interesting topic for you guys and gals today, and that is in regards to Clementine's babysitter, Sandra. Now, I've discussed her in some previous videos before. I'll throw a link to one or two down below in the description, but we're gonna discuss more than just cut content and more than just the scene. We're gonna give you the whole breakdown of stuff that I found and Basically, this video is titled The Tragedy of Sandra. Basically, my entire in-depth breakdown on of everything I found with Sandra and why there was more to her story than what Telltale gave us. There was a lot more to her story and why it kind of sucks and why, to me, it's kind of a tragedy. All right, everyone, if you enjoyed this video, if you do me a quick favor, drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And let me know what you'd like to see next. I think I'm going to bring back a top 5 or top 10 Walking Dead video next week since you guys really do love those and I haven't done one since last year. Alright everyone, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is the tragedy of Sandra. Message 1, left at 5.43pm. Hey Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. <laughs> So after that explosive beginning, we find out a couple things about Sandra. That she's about to go on spring break, so she's all likeliness a college student or in high school. Two, she hasn't answered the messages on the phone, meaning she's been dead for all likeliness a day, two, three. There's blood all over the house, which gives me the inclination of one of three things. She was either bitten, shot, or worse. And pretty obvious she got bitten. I don't think she just died. There's just blood everywhere. And Four, Clementine probably found out about this and immediately hid in her treehouse. She probably saw maybe the zombie transformation of Sandra and that's why she hid, because she knew that these zombies were everywhere. And we find out at the end of the call, at least the second uh, voicemail, that Sandra was told by Diana to bring Clementine to Marietta. And Marietta is right next to Atlanta. It's a real city in real life. Fun fact. So there's Macon gonna go straight through Atlanta, leave the city, and go to Marietta right there. So very interesting, a lot of these cities, you know, and stuff mentioned in The Walking Dead Season 1 are actually real-life locations. Like, I've actually been past Macon before on my way to Florida before on vacation. So it's really cool that, you know, we get to see that and personified in the video game. You see it? It's right there! Catch your horses, Clem. Sorry. There's something in the treehouse, and she wants me to get a video of it to show you guys. Look! By the door! It's peeking out! I... I think it's... Yep. Got it. Oh, there! Look at there that! There it is! Do you wow. see it? Spoiler, it's a record. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no! Here, your mom wants to talk to you. Hi, Mom. Hi, hon. What's in your treehouse? Baby raccoon. Wow, that's cool. Yep. I bet he's cute. Uh-huh. Well, make sure you don't try and touch him, okay? Okay, gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Hey, that's not any way to say bye to your mother. Honey, you still there? Yep, I'm here, Mom. Hey, don't get my hat dirty. I said you could borrow it, not have it. Okay. You be nice to Sandra. And don't stay up too late. I won't. I love you, Clem. Love you, hon. I love you, too. I miss you. Don't worry, sweetie. We'll be home in a few days. Okay, see you soon.
So in that conversation, we find out this was right after Ed and Diana, Clementine's parents, had left for the Marsh House. And we get a little, you know, cute little scene here that shows a raccoon in Clementine's treehouse. And this is probably right after they left, maybe a couple hours, maybe a day. And we're eventually going to find out that this is probably the last moment before the apocalypse starts and Sandra dies. But it was, you know, this basically confirms, yeah, Sandra was alive for at least some time before, you know, Clementine got up. She was already ready to go up in that treehouse by the sound of it, but she was very anxious, you could tell. And it's very sad to see, you know, Sandra like this. Sandra was actually confirmed to be voiced by the voice actor of Bonnie and the voice actor of Molly, which is Aaron Yvette. She also voiced the snow from The Wolf Among Us. So very cool fun fact there that that was probably planned out. Now, after this, you think Sandra's story's over with. In The Walking Dead, a new frontier, a game synonymous with cut content and a lot of stuff that didn't go right. There ended up being a image in the Walking Dead Definitive Edition in the New Frontier category that showed Sandra. And you actually can go find this right now if you have the Walking Dead Definitive Edition. This is real. This is not fake. This is not made up. Sandra is actually in a New Frontier. And like, Dom, why is Sandra in Season 3's Definitive Edition art gallery if she wasn't in the main, you know, Season 3 New Frontier? It's because she was cut. And I discussed this before, there was a cut flashback planned for Sandra where it was going to be Clementine and Sandra. I think the moment Sandra turned into a zombie, they were going to show us that scene. And I've discussed this before with Megan Me and the video she made covering all the stuff in that. We'll show you a little bit of the clips in a bit. But let's show you the, another image from the Definitive Edition arc that confirms a flashback was planned. This is in the Definitive Edition, Clement's House Interior showcasing a pre, you know, zombie apocalyptic look at Clementine's house. And this is before everything went to hell. And you see no blood, and it's in the day. So this would have shown the moment Sandra had turned into a zombie. And it looks like Clementine would have actually witnessed this, meaning that it's canon. It's canon, even though if it's cut content, this is probably how the writers had planned for this to go. In all likeliness, this flashback was planned for episode 5 of A New Frontier, being that was the only episode without a Clementine flashback. So it's very sad to see that this happened, because they were probably pretty much done with this flashback, and like Telltale's done a lot, they just cut stuff out. And I think this would have made A New Frontier a lot better of a game, just having just something nostalgic, like Season 1, we would have seen old Clementine. I don't know how the graphics would have been considering the New Frontier. It doesn't have the best graphical style game, but man, could you imagine how nice that would have been considering, you know, New Frontier, there wasn't really enough Clementine stuff to begin with. So quickly, I'm going to give a shout out to Megan Me. She made this video basically covering the entirety of the Sandra flashback and all the cut stuff. So make sure to check her out. Links down below in the description. I'm going to play a little bit of a video here. Make sure you check it out. Very interesting stuff.
All those sounds basically confirming there was a zombie attack at Clementine's house. Clementine was going to be screaming, panicking about this. You were going to hear Sandra screaming as well. Probably Clementine would have witnessed you hear zombie bangs on the door, meaning that in all likeliness, Clementine would have witnessed Sandra's death and we actually would have been able to see it. Wow. Think about how bad some of the flashbacks were in season three. This would have maybe recovered it for me if we had seen something from the original game. And we know also in the final season, there was even an image of Clementine's house. So this wasn't the only game that Telltale had thought maybe we could bring Clementine's house back in some shape or form. But ladies and gentlemen, the story of Sandra is unfortunate. She really had a lot more potential and we could have seen a lot more of her than what Telltale gave us. And I would have loved to have gotten the story of how Sandra had gotten bitten in the zombie attack on the first day of the apocalypse. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for the video. Again, please go check out Meg and Me and that video I just uh, showed you guys. We we'll greatly appreciate that. And be sure to subscribe and join the 68% of you guys that are not subscribed. All right, everyone. Next week, top five, top 10 Walking Dead video. Expect it soon. Catch y'all later. Peace. I wish I I could, I would.